Today I'm going to show you a really cool experiment with slime. I'm going to show you how to make it yourself and what happens if you freeze it. To make it you need to take a nice clean mixing bowl. We're going to use a bottle of PVA glue. I'm squirting out the entire bottle into the bowl but it depends how much you want to make. I found it quicker to remove the lid so I can squirt the glue out quicker. We need to dilute the glue with about 50% water. So I filled up the empty glue bottle about halfway, put the lid back on and gave it a good shake to clean out the bottle. Then I tipped it into the bowl and gave it a good mix with a spoon. To colour the glue I'm using food colouring and I decided to go with green. Start by pouring in just a little, then give it a stir to see how strong the colour is. I added some more colouring because I wanted the colour a little bit deeper. Although this is green food colouring it does look a bit more yellow. To make it all slimy I'm using some Stayflow liquid starch. If you haven't got any of this you can take a look at my other slime videos to see some different ways of doing it. It's best to start by just pouring in a little bit, then give it a mix to see how it is because you don't really want to add too much. And you can see straight away it started to get slimy. Although it is still quite liquid so I'm adding a bit more of the liquid starch. Keep repeating this process until you've got something which really starts to look like slime. This has become far thicker now. And you can see if I keep mixing it we get this amazing homemade slime. Pretty cool huh? Although it has turned out more yellow than I was hoping. But it is great. It's really sticky and a bit stringy and it's a great consistency of slime. As you're playing with it you're sort of still mixing it together. It becomes less sticky and stringy and a bit more manageable. You can sort of stretch it apart with two hands and peel it back off your skin. And the more you play with it the more manageable it becomes. If you're quick you can sort of roll it up in your hand then let it sit in your fingers and watch it run through. Slime is always great fun to play with. And I have done a few different videos if you want to check them out. You've just got to love the way you can play with it then watch it splodge back out. If I drop it onto this plate you can see it just runs into a puddle and covers the whole thing. You can kind of fold it in on itself and play about. But today I thought it would be fun to see what happens if we freeze it. I'm going to start by filling up this mould of a Lego style man. I put some slime in then kept dabbing it with a finger to try and get rid of any of the air bubbles and make sure it's pushed into all the corners. 
I removed the excess and tidied it up a little. And I also had this really cool mould of different bugs. I did use these moulds to shape some liquid gallium metal for a video which I never got round to using. They look really cool and I used the Lego style figure mould to try and make a fidget spinner. But today I'm just filling them up with slime. I filled up four altogether and then let them sit for a while. As you can see, air bubbles start to rise out of the slime. Same with the other mould. I decided to put the remainder of the slime into a plastic bottle. It is a bit fiddly pouring it in. But it went okay. I gave it a bit of a squeeze to try and get rid of any of the air bubbles. But I don't think it really helped. And after about an hour, the bubbles in the other slime seem to have all dissipated. So it's ready to put in the freezer. This drawer is for ice cube trays and it seemed ideal. I left them overnight to freeze. Then took them out. The first thing I did was remove the bugs. You can see the wing on this one came out a bit funny. But apart from that, they filled the mould really well, and the level of detail is really cool. Even though it's frozen, it still feels almost a little bit slimy. They are obviously cold, but it feels a bit like holding a wet bar of soap. I wanted to see how hard they are, so I decided to hit two of them together to see if one of them broke. I couldn't get them to smash, but you can see I sort of dented them a little bit. So I thought the next thing to try was to see if I could get one of them to shatter. I placed this bug onto a baking tray and I'm going to try hitting it with a hammer. You can see I hit it clean on top, but because of the shape of this bug it slipped out from under the hammer. This little piece here fractured off and it sort of chipped out of the body of the bug. It almost looks textured inside. So I decided to try again with a bigger, flatter lump hammer. This time I hit it square on top and the front and the back half of the bug fractured clean in half. And it seems to have fractured it halfway down this part too. I smashed it a few more times and it doesn't really shatter, but it has kind of ripped it all apart. It still feels and looks ever so slightly slimy as it's melting, so I wonder how it'll be when it warms back up. I played with it a little bit to try and thaw it back out. And you can see it is a bit dirty now from the hammer. As it starts to melt, it does become slimy again. And after about 10 minutes or so, you can see a pool of slime starting to form. Next I took the Lego style figure out of the mould. And it looks really good. I stood this one up on a tray. And I thought it would be fun to see what happens if I try melting it a bit with a blowtorch. I ran the flame up and down him a bit. But annoyingly, he had a tendency to fall over. The slime had started to melt around his feet, where it was in contact with the warmer tray. I think this put it out of balance, so it kept trying to fall over. 
It was a bit annoying because I was hoping to get a really cool shot of the figure stood still while the slime started melting and dripping off his body. He kept trying to fall over. But you can see the slime was starting to melt. I decided to try propping him up using a paper clip. I used some putty to hold the clip still, but the figure just started to slide forward instead. You can see he's really starting to become slimy now, although there still is that classic figure shape. I put a bit more putty in front of him to try and keep him stood upright. Now when I add some more heat, you can see the slime starting to drip off his body. When I left it for a time lapse, it just fell over and turned into this puddle of slime. There's still a bit of a frozen core inside of the puddle, and it feels quite cold. But it is still sticky and slimy, just like before we froze it. For the remaining bugs, I decided to put them onto this baking tray. Then I boiled the kettle, and I'm going to tip this boiling water over the bugs, to see how they melt. You can see all the details of the bugs washing off as I pour the boiling water over them. I left them sitting in this water for 10 minutes or so and they melted into these three blobs. Once the water had cooled down enough, I put my hand in to try and retrieve some. But I couldn't really get anything, it was just all too watered down. For the slime I put in this plastic bottle, I removed the top. Then carefully used a sharp knife, cutting away from me, and a pair of scissors, to remove the plastic bottle from the slime and I was left with this really cool slime bottle shape. And it's a little bit slimy at the top already. For this one I decided to melt it from underneath by gently warming up a frying pan. I put the slime bottle in, and you can see straight away the base of the bottle started melting. And it started moving down the pan. I held it in position for a while, and I regulated the heat because I didn't want it to boil. I was hoping to get a really cool shot of the slime bottle melting straight down as it pulled up into a big puddle. Sadly though, it didn't seem to want to melt very straight and it kept leaning to the side. You can also see the side and the top of the bottle are already turning more slimy. I tried holding the bottle straight, but it just wasn't melting very fast and it kept sliding around this frying pan. And when I left it for a time lapse, it fell over and it melted on its side. Still, it does look really cool. And if I pick it up, you can see there's this kind of frozen core inside this stringy, slimy mess. It's warm enough to be able to bend it and shape it. And it is actually really cool. If I try and remove the core from the slime, it's really difficult and it's just so messy. But we're left with this. And of course it's just melting as I touch it and it's constantly turning more slimy. This bit still does feel cold, but it's actually really quite fun. It's got a bit more substance than slime. 
but you can still mould it and play with it. I left it all in the frying pan so it completely thaws out. And if you want to see what happens if I boil slime, you can let me know in the comments below and I'll show you in another video. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. If you want to see more, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.